Tevel is different from most other volunteer organizations in that we are both a development organization doing long-scale, long-term interventions with impoverished communities and an educational organization that focuses on mobilizing international volunteers in the developing world. Tevel is unique in that both the educational experience of the volunteers and the development of the communities are equally important to the organization. Tevel also started a local NGO called Neek Sensar, which means the Earth Injustice in Nepalese, and Tevel Betzerek in Hebrew. The Neek Sensar staff includes over 60 Nepali employees who provide hands-on guidance for our volunteers and continuity for the work being done in the field. The intercultural field work with the Nepali staff is an essential part of the programs and of the informal learning process. Each volunteer works directly under a local staff member in his or her field. Tavel works holistically with communities to help them improve their capacity and general well-being. We focus on five main thematic fields in the community. Agriculture, women's empowerment and public health, youth leadership, education and teacher training, media and knowledge accessibility. To make our work sustainable, we focus on human resources, such as training and community building. We don't hand out food or expensive technology, but rather teach farmers sustainable practices through which they can grow their own food using local resources. The same ideology directs our work in all thematic fields. All of our work is done in groups, farmers groups, women's groups, youth groups, and teachers clubs. During that time, Tevel works with each community, what we like to call the intervention period. The groups are led by Tavel's local staff members who live and work in the community for extended periods of time. This kind of in-depth intervention takes time. That's why we commit to staying in a community with the full-time field staff supplemented by volunteers for four to five years. The last year of our intervention is dedicated to training local leadership and handing all projects over to them. It is important that volunteers realize that they are part of a long-term process. Sometimes this can be frustrating as the volunteers don't always get to see the end of this process. On the other hand, working in a process with the community creates ownership and encourages sustainability. Tevel offers three service learning programs in Nepal. All of our programs include educational programming, together with volunteer work in communities where Tevel is working long term. The Exchange for Change program is a month-long cultural exchange program that targets backpackers who are traveling in the Far East and looking to augment their trip and experience authentic village life while contributing to the community. Volunteers live with local families in a homestay program and work with Tavel's staff in one of the target villages with their ongoing village projects and have the chance to support the projects with their skills and enthusiasm. The program runs four to five times a year in the fall and spring months, which are the main tourist seasons in Nepal. Each cohort includes 10 to 15 participants, most of whom are from Israel, but volunteers from other countries participate as well. The Tevel Community Four-Month Program takes place twice a year in Nepal, and each cohort includes 20 to 23 people. In most cohorts, two-thirds of the participants are Israeli, and one-third are from Jewish communities worldwide. The program begins with a month-long orientation, followed by three months of volunteering in either a rural village or city slum. Volunteers work hand-in-hand -hand with the Nepali field officers who are stationed in the area, and unlike the Exchange for Change program, have the opportunity to take on a significant role in the activities. Seminars and educational programs are conducted throughout the volunteer period. The Tavel Fellowship targets the most outstanding young leaders in the field of social action and young professionals in the relevant thematic fields. The first stage is seven months long and includes a month-long orientation in Kathmandu, followed by hands-on field work in the village. Participants team up with local Tavel volunteers and work together for the entire period in the select intervention area. The second stage is a four to five month internship. This stage is modeled exclusively for exemplary volunteers who are chosen to stay on and work on larger scale projects and initiatives. The Tavel Fellowship Program is more heavily subsidized than Tavel's other programs. The subsidy for the fellowship includes full funding for participants who complete both stages of the program. All programs begin with an in-depth orientation for the entire group that takes place in Kathmandu. In the Tavel community and Tavel's fellowship program, the orientation is a month long and covers the following content. Getting to know the country of deployment, learning about the politics, history, ethnic groups and religions of the target country and the surrounding area, as well as daily language study, you will learn basic vocabulary that will be critical during your volunteer period. 
putting the volunteer experience into the larger picture. Issues such as globalization, environmental problems, and resource distribution. Our study also focuses on Jewish texts that deal with these topics. Professional training in the thematic field that they are assigned to. Content is relayed by the local thematic coordinators in each field who provide both theoretical knowledge as well as the local context and background on the ongoing programs in the field. Tavel's programs all focus on the group experience. During the orientation, group building activities help create a positive group dynamic that is critical to the volunteer experience. In the Tavel Fellowship, where Nepali volunteers are part of the group, an emphasis is placed upon intercultural work and on gaining a deeper understanding of each other's cultures. After the orientation, educational seminars are conducted every three to four weeks. Oftentimes, the seminars include group celebrations of Jewish holidays. Each service learning program has a group leader. It is his or her job to run the orientation and educational programs, as well as to help facilitate the volunteer experience. Please come prepared to work with the group leaders and realize that their job is critical to the program's success. Towards the end of the orientation in the Tavel Community and Tavel Fellowship programs, the group is split twice. The first split is into thematic groups. Volunteers can make requests, but the final decision regarding thematic placement is made by the educational staff to ensure a balanced division between all fields. The second split is by geographic location. Each Tavel Fellowship cohort is divided into two groups, both in rural village areas. Each cohort of the Tavel community is split into three geographic subgroups, two in rural villages and one in a city slum. The conditions in the villages are quite harsh. Exchange for Change volunteers live in a homestay, and all other volunteers live in their own house, but in similar conditions to those of the villagers. Houses are made out of mud, brick, with earthen floors, and do not have running water or electricity. Water is available from a nearby tap, and solar panels provide minimal electricity for charging cell phones, computers, and a light bulb. Bathrooms are outhouses with squat toilets, and bucket showers are the way we keep clean. Food in the village is simple and based on the local staples such as rice and lentils. Transportation from the villages to the capital takes approximately five to six hours and involves walking, car, or jeep, and bus transportation, making the trips quite taxing. In the Tavel community program, one subgroup is placed in the Kathmandu slum neighborhood Kalamati. Kalamati is extremely dirty and polluted presenting a different type of challenge to volunteers placed there. Tavel's work focuses on groups, and our volunteer programs are all group-based. The group experience can be very intense. Since the communities are isolated, the members of the small subgroup are work colleagues, as well as a support system as volunteers go through challenging personal experiences. In the Tavel Community Program, there is a Nepal field officer in charge of each thematic field in each geographic station. The field officers live in the communities. They maintain the long-term relationship with the community and are in charge of the implementation of the strategic work plan. The volunteers supplement the work of the local field officers with their unique skills and talents. In the Tavel Fellowship Program, volunteers have more direct responsibility, and the pairs of local and international fellows build and implement the work plans with general guidance from the program staff rather than direct supervision in every activity. It is also important to remember that the village life moves at a slower pace than life in the Western world. Volunteers often arrive with a lot of enthusiasm and want to make the most of their time in the community, and can be frustrated when things move slower than they expected. This is a natural part of the intercultural learning process. Take the time to learn about the community that you will be working in. There are many health challenges when working in the developing world, and the Tavel staff gives volunteers strict instructions about how to treat all drinking water. They will also give you guidelines about sun and heat exposure, animal and bug bites, and other important information that can help in preventing illnesses. It is important that you follow those instructions carefully. Tavel will help with any logistics and medical issues that arise to make certain that you receive the best medical care possible. There are many risks in living in the developing world. Tavel is in touch with the local embassies and governments and provides volunteers volunteers with the most up-to-date instructions and guidelines. Volunteers must follow these guidelines carefully to avoid unnecessary risks. All of Tavel's programs are heavily subsidized. 
the principles behind our subsidies are there should be a balance between the funds invested in covering the costs of the volunteers and the investment in the projects in the community. That is why the Tabell Fellowship, where volunteers commit for a longer period of time, is the most highly subsidized program. Likewise, scholarships are available in the Tabell Community Program for volunteers with specific professional qualifications in agriculture or Jewish education. Thank you for your interest in expanding your horizons and striving to make the world a better place with Tavel Betzedek. For more information, check out Tavel on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, as well as our website and blog.